Good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Friday, September the 17th. And here are today's top headlines. Fighting on the front lines and in the courtroom. First responders filing a lawsuit against the city of Los Angeles' vaccine mandate. And the search for Gabby Petito intensifies. The new footage released of the 22-year-old who disappeared on a cross-country trip. The early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starts right now. Hey, good morning to you and happy Friday. Hey, and happy Friday to you. I'm Chris Shaw. Thank you, Chris Shaw. Well, I'm Megan Tellis in for Megan Henderson. We know that we're going to get going on this Friday morning. Yes. I'm excited to join you guys. Thank you for having me. Let's get started, though, with Mr. Henry DiCarlo. What's going on in the weather department? Uh, Megan, if you've enjoyed the weather over the past couple I of have. days. Yeah. I've been off, so. Oh, well, good for you. <laughs> and it's been cooler. It's been quite comfortable, right? In many areas where the weather has been hot uh, over the past week or so, started to kind of cool down midweek. Still very pleasant. We do have that marine layer and this is always a great shot for us because as we look out towards the coast and well off in the distance uh, would be the coastal areas here from the valley location. Uh, you're going to see that marine layer a little thicker thins out as it draws closer to our foothills, but I think we're looking at plenty of that marine layer this morning and temperatures are going to cool down below the average again today. Upper 70s for highs today, maybe a little drizzle out there as well. So very nice, comfortable weekend, a little breezy, Ginger. I'll talk more about that in a few minutes. All right, <laughs> let's talk about your drive this morning as well. I just heard something that just made me laugh. Uh, we have a few things on the road and maybe you guys noticed it too on your commute. Boy, like so many cars on the road, not even a long holiday weekend. So let's move you first to look at the situation that we have now this time. It's on the 10 freeway eastbound side. They are putting it about County Line Road. The off ramp right lane still blocked. We're talking about a crash from last night at about 1130 with a semi and it looks like what the vehicle was the one that ended up overturning with the sedan. And now those lanes are blocked that I mentioned the right lane, the off ramp. They're saying about 75,000 gallons of diesel that has spilled into the roadway as well. So that's an issue. We also have something serious developing on the 405 freeway, the southbound side right here about El Segundo Boulevard, where it looks like a car hit another one and then a tree. So you hit a tree somehow, I guess maybe careening down the embankment, a fairly fresh crash. Maybe the reason we're not seeing a lot of heavy delays, but that will change here in a little bit. So we'll keep our eyes on it. Uh, lots to talk about already on a Friday. So maybe you want to leave a little early. I'll send it back to you. All right, Ginger, thank you. A local community gathered yesterday to pay their respects to a hometown hero who fought for freedom and gave his life to save others. Family, friends, first responders and strangers lined the streets to pay tribute to Marine Corporal Hunter Lopez in a funeral procession through the Coachella Valley. The 22 year old Indio native was one of the 13 U.S. service members killed in last month's suicide bomb attack at the Kabul airport in Afghanistan. It was the first part of a two day funeral procession that began at Forest Lawn Cemetery in Cathedral City. The motorcade is expected to begin again starting at nine o'clock this morning. It will pass by the schools that Lopez attended the Palm Desert Sheriff Station where he served as an explorer scout and other landmarks in the community that helped shape him into the hero he became. Uh, and, and we're just we're just all touched for emotionally upset, uh, but we need to do something to be able to show our love for this amazing young man. And this is why we're out here. To the public can attend viewing from noon until 7 p.m. today at St. Francis of Assisi. A memorial service will be held tomorrow at the Palm Springs Convention Center beginning at 11 a.m. Corporal Lopez will be buried privately at Riverside National Cemetery. Hundreds of L.A. City firefighters on the front lines of the coronavirus pandemic are joining a fight against the city's 